Okay, hi everyone. Today I have a very special guest. His name is Savas Kiriakidis, and he is the founder of the Great Britain Cyprus Business Association. Savas, thank you for joining me today. I'm so excited to have you. It's my pleasure. Um, I just wanted to ask a few questions because I'm a real supporter of your association. I love what you do. Thank you. You've helped us tremendously. We've just grown exponentially since we joined you with all your introductions. And uh, I wanted more people to know what you do, what the association is, and what it does and what it can do for them. Um, so you were born, where were you born? In Limassol. In Limassol. And when did you come to the UK? I came in 2002, uh, so it's 20 years ago. 20 years. And when did you launch the uh, Great Britain Cyprus Business Association? It was early in 2020, uh, just before COVID. Uh, actually, we had these uh, events taking place since 2017, but uh, I saw the association as a a must to keep the people uh, together, the businessmen and the professionals from Cyprus and the UK. Uh, I wanted a, a, a business with a networking throughout the year and not just once when the, we had the events. Mm, okay. And what inspired you to launch the association? To be honest, the, uh, there were a lot of associations, but uh, what made me want something new. I didn't see an association so active as I wanted it to be. So I said, come on, let's do it and be the one that the people will want to join you because you are going to be active 365 days a, a year. Mm, you're definitely active. You're <laughs> nearly as active as I am. You just never stop. Um, what was your biggest challenge? My biggest challenge is to convince uh, the businessmen and the professionals uh, in Cyprus and the UK to join us. Why? Because they were so um, uh, dissatisfied with some associations that uh, some people, they launch an association just to be the president or just to be a member. And they ju just have a gala dinner or an event once a year. Mm -hmm. uh, what I told everybody at the beginning is that I launched this association because I want to uh, be active uh, every single day. I wanted to introduce people to from Cyprus to the UK and also from uh, vice versa from the UK to Cyprus. I wanted them to uh, participate at the at our events. I wanted to introduce these uh, businesses uh, to businesses in, in, in Cyprus and the UK. It doesn't mean that a, a, a company based in Cyprus, I, I introduce it only to the other country. I introduce it to all our members and of course to our business associates because a part of our members, we have a lot of thousands of business associates that they receive our email marketing every day. And they are also active and asking about uh, our members and information about our members. Mm -hmm. no, I mean, I went to your first conference uh, in November. Um, I was so impressed and I was proud to be a part of it. Um, I've benefited from it and I think everybody does. And that's why I, I really support it. And I want more people to know about it and to join because the more people who join, the more we all benefit because we network. It doesn't always have to be about direct, will I do business with this person or not? It builds up our network and networking is good for, for everyone. But what has been your greatest achievement so far? My greatest achievement, uh, I would say the feedback I received from everybody that we are an active association, that they, they see the results uh, through the introductions. They are happy with the uh, turnover as regards the delegates during our events. And they are also happy that they make connections they, they have no idea in the past. I mean, some businesses, they just join us just to have, a, 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 let's, say, let's say, a trial. 
and then they stick with us because they, they see that we mean every single word. We want them to participate, to be active, to be introduced, and to have benefits. Because at the end of the day, every, every single business who join us, they want to have results. They have to make new contracts, new connections. This is what business networking is about. And this is the aim of our business association. And what are your hopes for the future? Uh, the hopes for the future is to uh, register more members, but uh, the let's say my biggest target, the biggest target is to uh, organize events in other countries as well. Let's say something like Switzerland or Germany, and one in Cyprus, where I I wanna bring uh, businesses from the UK there and uh, have something uh, an event similar to the one we organize in the UK, a similar one in uh, Cyprus, and I believe it's going to be a success. Hmm. Well, I can see the association is wonderful for a network to bring businesses together, but how did you manage to bring together so many businesses from different countries? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, uh, we started, let's say, on the first month with 10, 15 businesses, and then uh, I started the introductions from uh, one country to another. Uh, I asked our members to give us some information about uh, their members and their business as well. When uh, I realized what uh, they are looking for, what businesses they want to be connected, uh, I tried to send uh, some introductions, uh, one uh, from one, for one business to another. And also I, tr- I promote the businesses through email marketing, through our newspaper, which, which is coming uh, monthly. Now it's uh, 26 months uh, in a row. And uh, we are aiming also to uh, get the feedback every few months to see where we can improve because nobody is perfect. We have weaknesses and we want the uh, uh, constructive feedback from our members and our business associates. So every single month, every year, we are to become better and better at the end of the day to uh, provide more benefits and more opportunity to our members. Mm. Well, on that note, how do you see things as Cyprus increasingly becomes an international business hub? Look, Cyprus uh, has a lot of advantage, uh, like uh, uh, let's say the weather, the uh, the the language that uh, most of the people speak English, uh, the sec- safety, the infrastructure, uh, and and a lot of other uh, advantages like the. Uh, the the law is uh, similar with the UK and uh, it's uh, one country that you can uh, have a, a very good standard of living uh, so I see Cyprus uh, as a business center in many in many areas such as uh, education technology uh, and uh, of course uh, there is always a, a, an interest about proper investment. Uh, a lot of uh, people from uh, Europe and other countries want to relocate in Cyprus because of these advantages and because they are looking to provide their uh, children a, 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 the best and a, a better uh, uh, life. I mean, uh, you know, we have now very good uh, schools, international schools. We have universities. We have uh, uh, a good uh, health uh, uh, system. So uh, there were some disadvantages in the past that uh, now we don't have it now. And so it's easy and a good choice for anybody to uh, to consider Cyprus as an option when they want to relocate to a better uh, place to live. Oh, definitely, definitely. Cyprus um, education and healthcare, especially, 
um, have become more accessible to people living in Cyprus because years ago there were people who would leave of course, because yeah. of the cost of healthcare. Um, and what would you say to anyone who's considering to join the association? If you are considering to join us, I would say join us not just to have another adventure. This business adventure and the business networking we provide, I believe is something every business is looking for. You will make new contacts, new friends, new connections, and uh, at the end of the day, you will have more contracts and uh, you will find your business a step ahead of, of the others. Uh, well, that was absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. For anybody considering to join, I'm placing a link to the website with this video and all you need to do is contact Zavas and I'm sure he'll reply normally within about four minutes. That's his normal average. Thank you very, very much and I'll see you all in Thank the next you. video.